Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Uchechi and I'm a content creator and digital marketing consultant. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be taking you through the BitLib app, right? So in my previous YouTube video, I talked about top my top three video editing apps for Android and iOS devices and BitLib was one of those apps. Um, if you enjoy editing your videos to the beat or the rhythm of the music but do not know how to, Bitly provides you with a very, very easy alternative or process. So if you want to learn how to use the app for your device to edit your videos, whether for Instagram Reels, for TikTok, for Snapchat, for YouTube, right? Maybe your YouTube Shorts, then you want to stick around. so this is what the app looks like it's the one in the middle bit clip so you just tap on it to launch the app and these are projects that i have already worked on right so to start a new project you just tap on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen to select either your video or photo file so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm working with videos and i have downloaded some videos um from pexels.com so these are stock videos um and they are sportish or sports videos right so i'm going to select all six of them and to select you just tap 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 and at the bottom you can see the media files that you have selected now if you want to deselect right if you want to remove anyone that you have selected all you need to do is either tap on the x symbol right at the bottom on top of each video right or you just come to the main screen here and tap on any media file that you want to deselect or remove now at the bottom you can see two symbols right just right above the videos that you have selected right and um you have the shuffle sign and you have the in order sign i don't know if i described that perfectly but this simply i mean the shuffle sign is to shuffle the order right of the media files that you have selected while the second one is to just keep it in the order that you selected it in so if the media files that you are trying to use do not have to follow any particular order, then you can safely tap on the shuffle icon to shuffle the order of the media files that you have selected. But if the video has to go in a particular order, then um, just leave it um, as you have selected the video. So I can safely shuffle mine because it doesn't have to go in any particular order. And then I'll just tap on next at the top of the screen. After that, it brings you to choose your music, right? And at the bottom, you can see there are three broad categories. So you have BitLip, you have Camera Roll, and you have Files. However, to be able to take music from your Camera Roll or your files, you need an active paid subscription, right? So if you're currently not paying for BitLip, you'll be restricted to the music within the BitLip app. And even for music within the BitLip app, you do not have access to all the audio files, right? I think you have access to about maybe four or five per category i can't remember but i know you don't have access to all the music in or within the bitlip app but if you've taken a screen recording and you want to extract the audio from the video that you have or you've downloaded a video and you like the audio and you want to use it to edit your video in the bitlip app then you do that from camera roll or if you have downloaded a music or a song or a sound that you want to use you also um access it from files but again you need a paid subscription to be able to pick music from your camera roll and your files now at the top you have different categories right within the bitlip app so you have travel night out aesthetic sport urban pink sunset and so on so i'll go to sport just to stay within the theme but this is not composure you can pick your songs from wherever i just want to pick from sport right so i'm just going to listen to some of the songs within this category and then pick a song and we will edit I have picked a song and what I'll just do is tap on next at the top of the screen and what it is doing now is it is syncing the music
Okay, so that's what Bitlip has given us um, so far. The beautiful thing is that you can always tap on this shuffle button, right? Um, to, you know, shuffle the order of the frames, right? And just play with different options. If you want to change the music, you can always, you can always tap on this music icon here and it will take you back to this music section to pick your music. So I'm just going to go through the sections at the bottom of the screen. So at the bottom, you can see tools, you can see edit and you can see filters. Now, when you come to tools, the first thing you see is media and this is where you select or deselect your media files, right? So if you want to remove some or if you want to add some, you can do that here. And the next is tweak. Now in tweak, you can tweak, <laughs> right? You can change the frames, right? Um, that are showing in the video, right? So you just tap on each frame and you can go to, you can tap on highlight to pick the specific parts of the video that you want to appear in that frame, right? So I can do that for, let me see. I think I want to change this because there's nothing going on here. And I want to bring it to where these people are, right? So I can just check, check through the frames to be sure that I like what Bitlip has picked from each of the videos. And if I do not, I can always tap on each frame, tap on highlight to change it, or tap on replace to replace it with an entirely different video. So I think I am fine with all the other frames. Well, I want to change this one. Um, need people to show. Yes. Okay, so I am fine with all the frames and I would leave here now the next is duration and here you can pick how long you want your video to be and you can go all the way from 10 seconds to 3 minutes 18 seconds which is the full track right if the, if the audio or the music you're using is not as long as this then i think your highest will be three minutes which is youtube right so i think i want to do 15 seconds right so i'll tap on this check sign at the bottom of the screen and next is segment. Now with segments, you can pick the part of the music that you want to edit in the video, right? So it's kind of like Insta Story. If you already edit, or if you already use Insta Story well, and you typically would pick what part of the music you want, then this is this is basically the same thing, right? So you just swipe through or slide through to pick the specific part of the song that you want to use to edit the video. Okay, so one. Kind of the song that has a lot of beats. So I think I like this part of the audio. It has a, a lot more um, beats and action. So I'll just tap on the check sign and it will pick that part of the song, right? For mood, you have three moods to pick from. You have mellow, natural, and energetic. And this determines how natural or how energetic you want the video to be. So I'm never on the mellow side because I like my beat, my videos to be hyped, right? Except I'm trying to do like calming videos or vlogs and I may pick mellow, but I would typically go for natural or energetic. And then for fade, you choose whether you want the video and the audio to fade in or to fade out or to fade in and out, right? Or none. So I'm going to pick all because I want it to fade in and out and I'll tap on the check sign at the bottom of the screen. And lastly, you have format where you can decide if you want this um, video to be a portrait, video to be a square video, or to be a landscape video. I think I want to go for portrait, right? Um, let me just go through to be sure that it wouldn't cut out important frames in the video. Okay, that works. So I'm just going to tap on the check sign at the bottom of the screen and we'll go to edit. Now, this is where you add the effects, right? And there's no particular format, right? Just go crazy. <laughs> but my favorite effects to use are fast cut, prism, jump cuts, and sometimes RGB. I use split sometimes, but I find that I don't like the way it splits the videos. So I 
would try it and then if i don't like it i would remove it right now to use any of the effects you just need to tap tap right and if you want to use it a bit more you tap again so underneath the video you can see the orange dots appearing for fast cut so it's showing you at what point the fast cuts will happen right and because i have tapped three times you can see three dots right so it means fast cut to happen three times while this video is playing again you can tap on this shuffle button right to shuffle the effect around the video and you just play each time you shuffle to be sure that you like what bitlip has done so i'm going to go ahead and add more effects and then we will play and see what bitlip has given us okay so let me play this So I think I want to remove um, split. So I'll just scroll over or slide or swipe over to split and tap, tap, tap till I have tapped out of the split effect, right? Um, I think I want to shuffle this to see um, other interesting orders, right? So I'll just tap on the shuffle button or icon to shuffle the effects around um, just to see. Shuffle one more time. You know what? I think I want to add the boomerang, right? Yes. Okay, so let's wait for that to process and tap on shuffle and play from the beginning. And that's it, it's that simple. Now the next section is the filters. I typically do not use this, but here you can add filters, different filters, to the video right again if you do not have an active subscription you do not have access to the full range of filters i think you have access to just um this first two packs i'm not sure but you don't have access to the full category right so you can tap on different filters and at the top on the video right you can adjust the slider to increase or reduce the intensity and that's it so once you're done you just tap on save at the top of the screen and it saves to your camera roll. Let's go over to my camera roll to watch the video in full screen and just to get the full experience of the video. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments or let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or you can do both. I'll be very excited and happy if you do both. Thank you. Um, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, then you want to hit the subscribe button because on my channel, I share helpful tips for content creators and entrepreneurs who want to handle their content creation and social media themselves but do not know how to or do not have the budget to outsource these responsibilities, right? So if you fall in that category, then you want to hit the subscribe button because I share videos in that category or in those categories, right? And I'm sure you will find them helpful like this one. So I'll see you in my next video. Today, stay safe, stay fabulous. Goodbye.